Welcome to this Plumber Parts Plumbing Disasters video. My name's James. Let's have a look at some of the stuff you guys are sent in today. Brilliant videos, great stuff all round. Remember to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. So then guys, you've probably seen that suddenly it's sunny, I've changed top and everything. Basically the weather was just awful a couple of days ago and we just couldn't carry on with the filming, so there we go. A couple of bits of news for you before we go into the plumbing disasters. Number one is that we're gonna be at Installer Show and I'll give you the heads up on how you can register for that in a minute or later on in the video. Uh, we know our stand number and everything. We've actually got two stands there this year. We've got a really cool golf game that you guys can come along and play and win some prizes on. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> see you later, baby. And also we've got our long jump game as well, but the Plumber Parts team will be there. And also you'll be able to learn more about Find Your Plumber that's behind me here. So remember guys, before we continue, please do subscribe to our videos by clicking on the link that's appearing right now in the corner. Also, we're starting up and we're keeping it small to start off with, but we're getting some t-shirts produced for you guys to buy. So yeah, we're gonna be doing those t-shirts. Um, there's two types of design. Uh, I'll give you the heads up as soon as they're out. Hopefully we're gonna have them here in the next couple of weeks. As soon as they are, I'll do a video of me wearing each one of them or whatever so you can see what they are. Then we'll give you the heads up on how you can buy them. So just stay tuned, all right, guys, because they're really, really cool. And obviously we're gonna have them as an opportunity to win in some of our competitions as well. So anyway, Flexi Fridays, let's have a look at that. Ben Jamin sent us through this Flexi here and it just drives me mental after a while that people think they can paint Flexis and it's all right. Don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with Flexis. It, you know, if they're using the right place, it's fine. But I mean, when you try and hide it, it's just annoying, isn't it? It makes me want to bloody hit a golf ball really hard, man. <sighs> <laughs> See you later, baby! So guys, you may remember a video that I did, a bit of a joke, a couple of weeks ago, all about drain cocks. It doesn't look like the advice that we put out there is being heeded by anyone at the moment, which is starting to annoy me a little bit. But it's not just that. People seem to be ignoring PRV regs and stuff like that. Have a look where this drain cock is that Jason Cahill sent us in. I mean, yeah, it's dreadful. I mean, okay, you can get to it easy enough. That's great but it shouldn't be there in the first place. It's a total joke. And then you always get that drain off that look at this one that Jugger Clune sent us through. I mean, how many licks of paint has this one had? The decorator's been in. I think he's probably used, well, pretty much a whole tub of emulsion on that. That's awful. You get a big drip on the end of them as well, and it's an absolute nightmare to get your hose attached. But it doesn't get as bad as this. Richard Sanson sent us through these flexies here. They're all kinked up under a bath. That makes me want to hit another ball really hard, like a loony. <laughs> then Dean Cole gets sent out to this tripe. Never gonna work, is it, guys? If you're gonna use flexies, make sure they're not under any strain or pressure. They're gonna, you know, they are useful underneath basins and baths. But like that, it just drives you nuts, doesn't it? Unless you wanna hit a ball, doesn't it? <laughs> Luke Booth then sent this one. It's not only annoying that the fact they've used that horrible flexi stuff going into it, so it's obviously a new build where they bring it out like that. But then they fitted that, and obviously the chippies have come in afterwards and just boxed straight over the end of it. Who cares, eh? Who cares about the drain off? No one does! Uh, as does Matt illustrates, said to this one of drain off on the floor. <laughs> this is not a good take it anymore! What has someone done there? It's bloody terrible, don't it? Michael Howe sent us this quick video through of a shower that he found and it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, we should do this more often. I don't know why shower manufacturers don't put this in their packages. Brilliant, isn't it? Who'd have noticed? So, hey, or sub Rayhan, or something like that. I never can get your name, so hey, I'm really sorry, mate. But he sent us through this one. It's a hashtag shonky shower, but also a hashtag rude brag for the bad boy crew. Look at that, just banging your pipe straight through the bloody shower tray like that. I mean, it makes me go mental. It makes me go mental. I'm gonna go mental with this now. <laughs> See you later, sweethearts. Here we go. This is a difficult club to use, this one. No bad. You ever want to know what it looks like when a drain cock catches leprosy? Nodfather sent this one in. I mean, look at all the pus coming out of it. <laughs> it just looks awful. It looks like my big toe after I've had a good old go at the old nail on it. A couple of days later, you know, and they get all gammy. As is this flexi that M Termovic sent us through, that yet again is not being used properly and makes you want to hurt people, just like this. Oh, see ya later.
So anyway, my mate uh, Tori's coming over to cut my hair in a minute. Um, she's not going to cut your hair though, Mr G, don't worry. Do you have a little meow, meow to that? Anyway, she's popping over now to cut my hair. I thought, cool, that'd be a great opportunity for me to sit down, show you some of the plumbing disasters that's been going on at the moment, and also, it's a great way to prevent myself from falling asleep. Hello! Hello. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? No. How's it going? No. Well, we're filming you today. We're actually filming you while you're cutting my hair. Don't worry, I'm not going to film you with bum. <laughs> oh, oh, God's sake, he's got the camera out again. Go on, whack the gown around me. So then, sitting here with Tori at the moment. Tori, how are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you very much. Um, oh, I hate that bit. <laughs> oh. oh, so cold. Why can't you just heat that up before you spray it? Because it's you. I think you put ice in it before you turn up. So anyway, number one, have a look at this little video that we got sent through by Armando On Demand, which can't be his real name, can it, Armando? Um, this is from some guy somewhere else on the interweb uh, showing you how to unblock a toilet. Uh, don't do this at home. Today I'm going to show you the best way to unclog your toilet without a plunger. First, remove the tank lid, then fill the tank with gasoline, then put the lid back on, then tie a string to the handle, then run the string through a bottle of Drano, then light a road flare, go in the toilet, close the lid, then pull the string. And now you don't have a clogged toilet anymore. Fluid Plumbing Solutions then sent us through this video. He got called out to a leak. Oh, uh, yeah, unlucky. By the way, can any of you see where Mr. G is? Because he's on the screen somewhere. Aren't you, Mr. G? George! Is he looking? No. Georgie! Benny Boy Williams received his praise from Plumber Patch. What do you think of this? Uh, the prizes he got there? Look, as well, he got himself. Those are nice little prizes. Bottle opener, Eupanor condoms. Mm. Also, Taran Preet Singh also got his prizes as well. He's a very lucky man. Very lucky man indeed. Um, Tori, mm. can you cut the back of my head from the front, please? No, I don't think so. <laughs> you just realised what I was saying. <laughs> Pervy! So then, Tori's obviously been to the toilet at this house that was sent in by my mate London, 24-hour <laughs> plumber. <laughs> Tori, what were you eating that night? Or was that my cooking? That was Emily's cooking. Oh, poor Emily. It looks more like you've been eating George's cat food in that one. <laughs> poor old G. <laughs> Alex Lancaster also got his plezzy wezzies too. As did London Gas, he got his prize as well. Well done, London Gas. See, look guys, people do get their prize and that rhyme. I tell no lies. HD Plumbing sent us one through as well. Lovely chrome pipe, <laughs> bugging it up with a flexi. IRB sent us through a flexi. Hashtag rude rat for the bad boy crew. I mean, look. You've done all the hard work, now look. Add insult to injury, this isn't even Flexi Friday. Imagine that your bedroom, the extension, you didn't know something like this had happened. You thought, what's that smell? They pull back the carpet and look under there. Cool, lovely, you've got a hermetically sealed drain, it's all blocked up. It's like one of those ones when you've got a whole four inch stack pipe all backed up on top of it. You lift that up, oh my God! John White Flexi, looks like some snakes attacking each other. And then PB Plumber off Twitter sent us this one through as well. Oh God, I mean, it's just that old thing again. Half the time, right, it's people buggering up drain offs because they don't know what they do, they don't know how they have to work them or anything like that, and therefore they just think they're a bit ugly and just box them in so no one can ever use them. And then when you actually need to drain the heating system out, they're like, oh, I didn't know about that. So don't paint my drain offs, all right? Scott Aston. I mean, the chippy in this one, he's gone to the trouble of actually cutting a hole out in the skirting board so he can recess the drain off into it. And then Sean Miller sends this one through, which basically drives me nuts, just like everything else. Irritates me to a great degree. Sean, thank you very much. You've just ruined my night. Now I'm gonna go and have an argument with the wife. So anyway, Twitter legend Dean Torres, or Potato, whatever you want to call him, put up this little video where he was talking, from what I can make out, a totally different language, Dean. It's not just in the office paperwork, but he's cooking as well. Look at that puppy. Spaghetti bolognese, fused with chilies, garlic, tomatoes. Especially about the way he says the word onions. Onions. Onions with an A. Onions. 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 So then I came back with this nice little reply. Good evening, Twitterers. Uh, just out here at the moment with my wife, who is uh, currently not cooking any onions. No, she's uh, chopping up a chicken. Yeah. 
IRB Heating, who must have been so cold, he was wearing a pair of long johns, three socks, a couple of pairs of boxers, a pair of wire fronts, string vests, a hat, a hoodie from ATAG, and various other things to keep him warm. Apparently he wears three socks, actually. Two on his feet and one on his... Flexi Friday from our mate Jimmy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Magical. Don't you love it? Flexi Friday. Look at his photo, IRB Heating. How much out of 10? Eight and a half. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, all right. Ian, I'll put you in, con <laughs> I'll put you in contact with Tori. Eight and a half, Ian. You need a haircut. Ian, do you need a haircut? Need your back sack and crack done. Lee Plummer sent us this one through as well. It's just terrifying seeing a hashtag rude rad, hashtag for the bad boy. Crew uh, doing that as well. <laughs> and you get the same thing over here from Nick Beardshaw too. Terrifying, going into a wall. Don't do it guys, don't do it. Paul O'Regan sent us through one of two photos of some Flexi Fridays on a hashtag rude rad, hashtag for the bad boy crew. Look at it, curled round like a nutcase. Plumbing ad sent us this one through. Twisted up like a twisty, twisty thing. But the one that annoys me the most is this one that's sent in by Richie Rock. This makes me want to do a run up and hit. You can't put foil on a Flexi and think it's all right, can you? You must be mental. Oh, it's gone a long way again. Sean Jones sent us in this hashtag Flexi Friday, hashtag Rude Rad for the Bad Boy Crew. I mean, look at it. Stan Wick Plummer sent us this one through as well. Hashtag Rude Rad, hashtag for the Bad Boy Crew, hashtag Flexi Friday. What the hell is going on with the world at the moment? I don't know. Then to finish off with the Flexi Fridays that I've had, I mean, we've still got loads. We can add them in at the later date or whatever. Will Collier sent us this one through that drives me nuts. This sort of thing being put on flexibles on an unvented cylinder is just simply completely dangerous. ABC Heating Services was called out to this one here. I mean, there is a chippy out there who should hang his head in shape that he just wang through a load of uh, screws through a pipe like that. It's not good, is it, Mr. G? No. Is it good? Is it good or is it bad? Oh, you've got a little belly, haven't you? Oh, yeah. And then this company obviously have trouble spelling because ABC Plumbing and Heating remembered the B. Uh, we got this sent through by AC Plumbing and Heating. Uh, it says here, say hi to Mason Bluey. Uh, follow him on Twitter, everyone, if you can. He's our new apprentice, starting his two-year level two journey with us. Just to let you all know, Ronnie, on our Find Your Plumber service, got a fantastic review, and here it is. Paramount Heating thought he was just being called out to a standard ball cock change. Ha <laughs> ha, ball cock, Tory. Anyway, he got there and found that it weren't a ball cock at all. Have a look at this. won the Cine World competition that we did. So the winner of our Cine World competition is Grant Crowell, which I must say, for some reason, very simply spelt surname, but strangely hard to say. Uh, Grant, I'll get hold of you, mate, send you over a message, 50 pound Cine World venture, coming your way, young man. And I don't know why my voice is going so funny. Mm, bitty, ooh, <laughs> So yeah, well done, mate. Loads more competitions coming up in the future. Um, you guys want to win an Apple Watch? Because we're going to be doing a competition on that pretty soon. I've got a feeling. By the way, remember that we're doing Wild West Wednesday. So any of you send us in a photo, be it on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, automatically get into, into Wild West Wednesday, where you can win a mug and a sticker from Plumber Parts. And then when you send us in a selfie of yourself with your mug and the sticker that you've won, you get entered into a monthly bigger prize. So that's like 25 pounds shopping vouchers, bits and bobs like that. And then the people who win the monthly prize, they get put into a super duper massive prize at Christmas. And this horse hates bad plumbing, believe me. Let's have a look at some of the photos you guys are sent in. You never know, you might be able to win a mug. Hey Trixie Duda. Oh, I don't like you, I don't like this horse. <laughs> Then we've got flues. Another thing that's dangerous, another thing that our industry, we have to be regulated in to make sure it's done properly. And then you get sent through photos like this. Alan Cope literally cannot cope with how poo this flu is. Hashtag our flu kidding me. Cheers IRB, you legend. And then Dan Johnson sent us this one through as well. Dreadful, isn't it? Totally awful. Get by sent us this flu through. Absolute beast. Look how well insulated that beast is. Not very well, is it? Jarvis Plumbing sent us through this photo of a flu that just looks sad. Very sad. Lord Lucan went to a job and he found out that the customer just sort of merged the flu into the whole house. You'd never notice it was even there, would you? Never. Tyler Rip's French Bulldog um, has got a problem. Have a look at this tools. Check this out. Have a look at that. Lick, licking, licking his, his lips. lips. Licking, his little, <laughs> licking his little choppy whoops. 
George doesn't like that though. George doesn't have balls, you see, so he doesn't get all whiny. Oh, this is the bit where I, I wish I'd washed behind my ears. Instead, I left all that dried yeah. up yogurt behind there. I wish you'd washed behind your ears as well. <laughs> And then Matt Lodder sent us through this photo. Someone has just ruined some old Renaissance art in the middle of Italy by banging in two flues like that. And that's got to be old school as well, the old balance bit there. Tread far, I must say. That makes you want to hit a golf ball absolutely miles. Nice bit of draw on that. Pete Walton sent us this one through. The chippies were like, yeah, we can get around that easy. Just leave it to us. 200 quid later, this is what you get. Matt Jelly. Matt Jelly. <laughs> Matt Jelly, right? Jelly, 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 jelly. Anyway, you found this lovely bit of pipe work here. Uh, guys, take a look at this video from Matt Jelly. Yes, indeed. I've got a confidence Quality. Dev Patel. Rogan Williams sent us this one through as well of a flu that is absolutely dreadful. Check me it out, bruv. Oh. What is it with flues half in and half out of walls? Look what Ronnie Gotchling sent us in as well. Rise Our Gas sent us this one through of a flu that is in a completely non-compliant area, don't you think? Don't you kink? Right, we're going to set this one up right on this left-hand foot here. This is going miles. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that is gone a mile. Tap and Hammer sent us this one through as well. What's going on with this flu? Dreadful. Thomas Kirkland caught two flus having a little confab in a completely, like, illegal way. Not like... Well, you know what I mean. Josh Tapping got called out to this house. He just had a new shower fitted by someone and it kept popping the electrics. Didn't take Josh long to find out why. Well done, Josh. Well done. Liam Mitchell, what a beast. Oh yeah, the O-ring will do it. Just show it on a little bit of a 15 mil straight coupling as well. You know, it'll be fine. And apparently it never leaked. Wicked. Uh, another video here from ABC Heating. Uh, he moved into a new house and like all of us would do, checked out the plumbing and it didn't take him long to find out how awful the previous tenant or the previous owner had looked after their plumbing system. Have a look at this video here. It's terrible. David Bones saw this. I'm, I can't imagine this is David Bones' own post here. All right, I just can't imagine it. Um, wh whoever put a caravan in our skip last night, you've got until Monday to remove it. We know who you are. We found some paperwork inside with your address. I don't know if it's genuine either. It doesn't matter to me. It makes me laugh. And that's all it's supposed to be in life, isn't it? Hey, Tory. Right then, fantastic video sent in to us here by Sippis Bajak. But anyway, look at this. We've got a nice musical tap. So anyway, Nick Beardshaw sent this one in. The toilet sings when flushed. Sure, don't we all? The toilet gods are singing. Solutions for Plumbing sent us through this one. Mate, I love this one, it's brilliant because it's also hashtag shonky shower and hashtag flexi Friday. Look closely at that and cringe. How could you ever put that into a wall and go away thinking, yeah, I did a good job there? Let's face it, you can't. Whoever did that before was a total poo head. Josh Tappin, long time follower of Plumber Parts, and Jacob, his little lad who works with him, Apprentice, they did this little video when they were bored on a Friday afternoon. In fact, it's quite relevant for you, Tori. Watch this. My hairdressers. For the silkiest hair, we use Times 800 Sentinel Cleaner. And to protect your hair and keep it from getting damaged by the weather, we use corrosion inhibitor. Hey, the boys having that hair wash. Some of our special ingredients. These, this came from Pizzazz. My face in! Look what you've done! Right, so uh, what do you think of Jake? Like, what first impressions of Jake? He could be a really good hairdresser. What about his ears? What do you think about yeah, his ears? Yeah, I'm not sure about them. Um, I need to go. Yeah. The whole ears? Yeah, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to play some great golf shots now. Just look at this photo and just take it in. What a shonky shower this is. Beautiful. Right, guys, well, thanks ever so much for having a look at what we've been doing today. 
I've enjoyed myself, I hope you have too. I'll be seeing you at Installer Show. We've done a lovely video for them over the past few days. See you later, baby! Oh my good God, that's absolutely massive. Uh, straight down the middle, it's the first time I've picked up a golf club since summer last year, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty good. It's a bit, oh, that was a hideous one. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in our next video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'm loving using the drone. I'm loving getting down the golf course and having a bit of a laugh, getting these old boys out. I'll see you in our next video. Remember everyone to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. This came from Pizzazz. This came from Pizzazz. This came from Pizzazz. Oh, oh. I've got a brand new big fetchy and I'll give you the keys. I'm gonna get his belly out and give it a scrub if he'll let me squeeze his belly. <laughs>